guys welcome back to another video so what we're doing today is prepping the z for a track day so we actually rented the track out for alex's 21st birthday we're gonna be doing that in a couple days and before we do that we have to prep the z so i've never had this thing aligned and i've been messing with the toe lately and it's super whack so we're gonna head up north right now to Beeline Auto. It's a new shop that just opened up in this area. So we're gonna head over there. Nikolai's gonna align the Z for me. And then we have a few more things that we need to prep on the Z, but uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Should be a good time. All the homies are gonna be at the track. Should get some solid seat time in the Z. It's gonna be super gripped up. So I'm excited to drive this thing. Um, but yeah, let's head up north and get this thing aligned. So we finally got the Z aligned. This is my first alignment in years. Um, we got the front toe figured out and then in the rear, we pulled all the camber out. So it's pretty much at zero camber. And then pulling the camber out, it actually raised the car as well. So it's actually sitting pretty high right now. I don't know how I feel about it. Might have to try to figure something out to lower this thing back down. But for now, it's gonna stay like this. Other than that, we're over here in Everett, Washington. So this is Nikolai's new shop. It's called Beeline Auto. He just opened it up. I'm actually his first customer. So first one on the alignment rack, shout out to Nikolai for getting this thing aligned for me, but he's planning on having another lift in here and he's gonna be doing like tires, alignments, pretty much like basic maintenance stuff. So if anyone in the Pacific Northwest area is looking for a place to get your car aligned, this is gonna be the new spot. Uh, Nikolai's knowledge in all these types of cars, big S chassis, R chassis guys, so. He's been in the game for a while, so I trust this guy. You guys should too. Come out here to Beeline Auto, get your stuff aligned. You might see some sick cars as well. We got the 2JZ GR86 over here. And then we also got this crazy 2JZ S15 over here. And Forest Wings S15 happens to be here today. So pretty sick, I got to see this thing as well. But yeah, I guess the 350Z is aligned and it's ready for the track day. It looks so funny, I'm not used to this. The front is just like cambered nothing in the rear but we're gonna have to get used to this because grip is important and that's what we're going for with this car uh it's gonna be a fun track day So made it back home from Beeline Auto. Um, the car feels solid. And what I did just now was I removed that locking ring on the coilovers because honestly the car was just way too high. I couldn't get used to it, but this is as low as it's gonna go. It looks a little lower in person and pretty happy with how the car feels and how it drives. But we still have some prep to do. So I'm gonna head over to David's place right now. We actually have some tires that we need to mount. So I have 235 40s that I'm gonna run on his RPF1. So he has 10 and a half RPF1s that I'm gonna borrow as drift spares. I'm hoping they fit, but I think it'll look a little better. We'll have a little more stretch, might poke a little more. Uh, anyways, we're gonna head there now and get these things mounted. got here another m3 guess who <laughs> the one and only so this is eddie's new pickup we went and picked this up last week and his original plans was to have it as like a clean track car right or what what were you thinking it's like a clean drift car yeah nice yeah. bonk <laughs> 
So his plan was to have it as like a nice clean drift car and we have the private track day tomorrow. So I hit him up today. I was like, yo, you're driving. So what does he do? He starts prepping this thing the night before. I just got here, but he already took the oil pan off. So these things are known to have the oil pump nut come loose and then pretty much just blows your engine up, right? He's taking this thing drifting tomorrow for the first time. He literally just picked this thing up and already got the oil pump nut welded right before I got here. This thing is a little too low. He doesn't want to clap these fenders. So what we're doing next is we're going to head over to his shop, take the coilovers off of his E30, throw them on this car and call it good. It's not going to have angle, but it should still be able to, to send it tomorrow. So that's the plan for tonight. It's going to be a long night. It's already getting late, but all the boys just prepping last minute like always. All right, made it to shop number two. It's currently 1034. So we're going to pull the coilovers off this thing real quick. And if you guys didn't know, this is Eddie's E36 Vert. This was his original drift car, but I made him pick up a coupe because Vert's ain't it. He ended up boosting this thing. It's almost ready to fire up. Um, he just got his tune back, but we're not going to risk taking this thing to the track because it's most likely uh, not ready to go. So operation, pull the coilovers off and then head back to the other shop, throw them on the car. here for like a total of maybe 10 minutes so moving pretty quick but uh the only other thing he needs to do for uh, the coupe is get the diff welded which will be tomorrow morning he's gonna get the diff welded we're gonna throw the coilovers in tonight and he should be good to go no angle no handbrake but should still have a good time All right, so today is drift day. This is what the Z looks like as of right now. Shout out to my boy David for letting me borrow the RPF ones. They are 10 and a halfs and they actually fit on the car perfectly. I didn't have to take the spacer or anything off. So they just poke slightly more and uh, just a little more stretch. So it clears the quarter panels. So I really like how that looks. Last night was crunch time. We got Eddie's coilovers off and then I think he's throwing them on the car right now. He's actually getting his diff welded as well. So everything's just super last minute, but the only thing I have left is to wash the car. And then I also want to throw my quick release and Nardi in. Alright, so just kidding, step one, I don't have that bit. I thought it was a regular like T30, but it has a little pin in the middle. So it's like a little special key, which I don't have. The lesson of today is don't do everything last minute. Another track day with a stock seat and stock steering wheel, but it's all good. It should still be a good time. I'm gonna head over to Alex's place right now. He might have that bit. Alright, take two. We made it to Alex's house. He actually has the right bit. So we have like 20 minutes left. I gotta knock this out real quick. Show us how it's done. Oh, here we go. Sick, we didn't break anything either. But this is the second hardest part, is uh, just breaking this thing loose. Uh, the trick to this is you just, just bang it out. That's Look at, dude, my freaking RPM just flipped all the way over. <laughs> Come back. Look at my gate. Oh, let's go. That worked. Let's go. That was pretty quick. The concentration is, is real. That, is that all the way on? Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's all the way on. Yeah, you don't want this thing coming off. I originally ordered a relocation plate for my uh, cruise control, but I forgot it at home, so I'm gonna have to do that later. And then I also really wanna make my horn on this thing work, but we don't have time for that right now. So I'm gonna have to go back and redo all this again. Mm -hmm. Dude, I hope my RPM goes back to, to normal. Sure, <laughs> Dude, I literally smacked it so hard it started bouncing off limiter. All right, one step to go. So now we just bolt this thing up to the steering wheel. My favorite steering wheel ever. Shout out to Wifey for getting me my third Nardi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this well is gonna deserved. Look, this is gonna look so good in here. Heck yeah. First snap, first snap. Boom, let's go. <sighs> yes. This is gonna feel so much better driving. It's gonna be a little closer to, to my seating position as well. It's gonna be more comfortable for sure. Let's go. Ready to go. That looks so sick. Okay, look at this big baller. First track day comes with the trailer and everything, man. This guy does not play around. Okay, okay. Ready to send. Okay. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> and boom, back right in the wall. What is this? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Thank you. He's playing it safe, bro. He's not he's hey, not Ray, playing around with these fenders. The homies. No, no, oh, what's up, bro? Because I have the angle cut, so it sits way it's lower. Rub. Yeah. So when I put it on here, it's hella high, but I want to lower it right now. Is the diff good? Yeah. Well, did, is this the one he welded this morning? Yeah. Shoot, hopefully his welds hold up. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, first run of the day. Just doing a solo run just to warm up a little bit. If you guys didn't know, I sold my front end to, to Ruben and uh, Marcus. So this is my former Zanke front end. So it lives on with the homies. Glad it went to a good home. This is sick. I really like this. Got the vertex. What is this called? Is it like an eyelid or what? Yeah. It looks good. OEM bumper. Sick. You miss that? Uh, not really. I like Koki. It looks good, but I like Koki. Oh, all right, Eddie. Let's see what this thing's got. Alright, here we go. Overnight drift car, baby. Let's go. <laughs> probably about to blow we're gonna give this uh e36 a shot this is gonna be my first time drifting uh an m3 i drifted your vert but not this thing bro this guy lets me drive the car when there's wires i see how it is oh dude it wouldn't be high in your plastic <laughs>
was the funnest run of the day. The two Z's just running solid. Woo! Guys out here setting up the gimbal. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. BMWs never break. <laughs> hey, everyone, gather around. Why, 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 why? <laughs> gather around. He's got an announcement. <laughs> She's pregnant. No. <laughs> As you guys may know, we gathered you guys around here for uh, Alex's birthday. No. Right. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, on David's birthday, he got Fanadors. Uh, David and Drew have also got Fanadors. So it's only right that we surprised Alec with something. So we all got a gift for you. If anyone wants to pitch in, a uh, Scroll Weekly. Watch out. I'll have you turn around and then, well, it's called turn around. We'll bring it, bring it out. Okay. Okay. Don't look. <laughs> I had you pull some strings to get these. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> Yo, I had you pull some strings, bro. I know some people. Let's go. You ready to plug it up? I had you bang the right lines for this. <laughs> You're just like there. So we know how much you love your cars. One in particular, you've had it for a very long time. You actually sold it and then you regretted it so much that you bought it back again. Oh, this is I know you've always God, wanted these. I know you've always wanted these. Just spares. All right. It's too modernized. I think yeah. the Addy's on an NA at these days. Hey, don't look, don't look. Ganadors. <laughs> Alec, what do you think it is? Take a wild guess. Oh, I have no idea. KVD kit. It's KVD, baby. <laughs> Stop playing with me. I know what this is, but like, why? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. That's clean. What? Oh, so <laughs> Let's go. And the last part, C rails, or brackets for a. So, what is this for? What is this for? He recently acquired an R32 for a deal. Okay. Oh. With some granny seats yeah, in them? Yeah, and if you sat in it, you'd know. <laughs> you'd know. <laughs> you have your Dude, I'm so stoked. Hold on, bro. These are too nice, bro. No more granny seats. You're no more granny nice. seats, bro. <laughs> <laughs> So made it back home from the track day. The Z felt solid. This was the first time I drifted the car with an alignment and with all the grip in the rear. This was the most fun I've ever had on this thing and it was just an overall solid track day. But as of right now, what I just did was I threw my bucket seat in. So I went with the Buddy Club P1 for the Z. It's a fixed bucket seat and it doesn't really have any cushion but it's soft enough where it's still comfortable for daily driving. So pretty stoked on how this seat turned out. Also got some sliders but uh, the only thing I have left to do is to install my cruise control. So here's the relocation bracket that I got from GK Tech. Pretty much this just bolts onto the hub and then the cruise control is gonna sit right about there. And then also I need to get this thing to work because honestly driving without a horn freaking sucks. Like when you got that Prius in front of you that's just like stuck at that green light and you need a honk you can't really do that and I try revving my car sometimes it works but most of the time it doesn't. I'm one of those drivers that just honks at everyone. No I'm just kidding I don't really honk at anyone especially these days a bunch of crazies out there but it is nice to have a horn. I haven't really had luck with any of my other cars. Uh, S2000 I could never figure it out so let's see if I could get this thing to work. to work 
So this is what the cruise control is gonna look like. So it's just kind of tucked away down here. It's not in the way of the steering wheel. You could still drift and move your arm around without hitting this thing. So super stoked on how that turned out. Overall, pretty happy with how the interior on the Z is turning out. So that cruise control is gonna come in super handy for longer road trips when we're going to the track and whatnot. Um, speaking of road trips, we're actually gonna be going down to Medford, Oregon. The first week of November, we got a two day drift event that we're gonna be going to with all the homies. Should be a super fun weekend. But with all that being said, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.